play a real quick video about alt text. It's called alternate text. What was what used to happen was that when you put alt text next to uh, when you inserted an image and you entered some alternate text, uh, it would create a code that read something like this. I'm going to just right click on my I'm in inter Internet Explorer. This works the same in just about all browsers. I'm going to go into View Source and I'm going to go look for an image. The alt text is supposed to show up when your pointer hovers over an image uh, and it's, it's little text that kind of comes up, a little pop-up that tells you what is there. It's more used for when uh, the image say goes missing. Let's say uh, it gets moved to another folder or something and uh, yet the web page is still looking for that image. It at least tells the user what should be there and it also helps the web uh, the webmaster when somebody emails them and says I can't see the AOL text. So let's take a look at this. This one here has an image. It's an image that's based, it's, it's on another website and they gave it alt text of AOL tech. I'm going to go down again some more. Here's another one. Alt is search. This one here. Alt is iPhone 5. And it goes on like that. Nokia Lumia. So you might have to go through your source to figure this out. And the reason is that alt text is uh, it's still useful to have, but most browsers now uh, are set up by default. You can change the defaults, but I'm not going to get into that. That uh, if you're, you hover over something that is showing the alt text won't show up. Now if this, uh, I guess it looks like a Wii, the Wii uh, goes missing, the picture goes missing, the alt text then will show up. Uh, you can get uh, add-ons for Firefox, for Chrome. I'm not sure if you can get the add-ons here for Internet Explorer, but I know that you can change them in the uh, default settings. But that's what alt text is all about, and for the course I'm going to require that you uh, use alt text for you know all of the images that you insert uh, for the simple fact that there is still uh, a really good reason to use it uh, from a troubleshooting standpoint. Anyways, I'm going to end the video with this. If you have any more questions, you know where to find me.